for those of you guys that don't know, I come from a family of immigrants. My family came from Iran in the 70s before the war, and they settled in Florida. My mom is one of eight, but now one of four because some of her brothers and sisters have passed away. And my mom was the only one that left Florida in her 20s and branched out and came to the West Coast and landed in California. And, uh, you know, that kind of left me on my own island. I didn't grow up with any brothers and sisters because I'm an only child. I didn't grow up with any cousins around me because everyone is on the East Coast. Even though I have probably 15 cousins, we don't talk. We're not close. We didn't grow up together and we kind of live in different worlds. Well, when I turned 34 years old last year, I made a decision that I wanted to have a relationship with my cousins, with my aunts, with my uncles. And so because we didn't grow up close, what I started to do is I started to just pick up the phone. I would say, hey, Uncle Mike. Hey, Uncle Jimmy. How's it going? What's going on in your world? What did you eat today? How was your weekend? How are the kids doing? And at first they thought that it was really weird. They're like, uh, hi, hi, Melody. How, how are you? You know, like what they were like very confused on why I was calling them and they wanted to know what I wanted. And I said, you know, I don't want anything. I just wanted to hear your voice. I just wanted to know what's going on in your world. And so I became that cousin or that niece that started just picking up the phone and after a year, my family started getting used to me just picking up the phone and calling them and calling my cousins and just connecting like, hey, I just want to know what you ate for lunch yesterday. I don't want anything from you. I just want to know what's going on in your world because I care and because I want to have a relationship with my family. My family is extremely important to me. And I don't want to grow up alone on my own island in California all by myself, dependent on friends. I don't want to grow up with my son and not knowing his uncles and his aunts and his cousins, right? And so I started picking up the phone. And so now my family is used to me just picking up the phone and calling them and bugging them and hearing about their world and what's going on in their life and at work and you know, what hardships they're going through. And actually one of my uncles was in real estate and I got such a good relationship with him. My uncle, Mike Elias, you know him that he joined EXP and now he's in my downline. Cause he's like, Hey, we're, you know, you're killing it. And we're, we created an amazing relationship because I literally just started connecting with them and I put myself in their world. Right. I didn't wait for them to come to me. So my takeaway from this call, Elias, and from the quotes that you read earlier, was that in our industry, you just have to get really good at picking up the damn phone. And maybe you before you cold call your clients and maybe you connect with your you know, open house leads over the weekend, maybe you just call an uncle or an aunt or your godmom, or your grandparents, and you just have that warm conversation, and you just connect with someone that it's easy for you to connect with, and you put a smile on someone's face that's in your immediate world. And then it makes it so much easier to spread that energy out into the world when it comes to your clients, when it comes to your friends, and when it comes to other people in your world, right? So our relationship is, it, it, our, our industry is a relationship-based business. We are realtors, right? So just start having relationships with people. Don't wait for people to call you.